All right, so in the last example, we looked at how we can apply built-in filters to images using P5.js. It's awesome, it's really quick, but if we wanna be able to make our own filters, um, we need to be able to access the pixels in our image. Um, now, I think it's worth just for a second pausing and, and asking the question, what is a pixel? It's a word we hear a lot, um, but unlike the other drawing commands in P5.js, like circle and line, which are defined by mathematical values, um, a photographic image, which we also call um, a raster image, um, which is an image made of pixels, um, is basically, if you get really close, a grid. And each of those squares in the grid is a single color. Now, there's so many crammed into this image that our eyes see it as this continuous thing. But I'm sure many of you have had the experience. You find an image online, you blow it up, and you can start to see all those jagged edges um, because of the low resolution of that photograph. Um, so there's a couple of ways that we can access these values and to make changes to them. In this example, we're going to look at the easy way. In the next example, we're going to look at the harder way. Um, but And we'll talk about some of the reasons why you would want to do that in the next video. Um, but if so, and I've gone ahead here. This is just my template from before, drawn this image on screen. If I want to access then the pixels in my canvas, I can, I first need to use the command load pixels. And what load pixels does is it makes sure that we have the most up-to-date, the most current um, data about the pixels on our canvas. So we always call this first. You'll see this in all the examples. Um, and then we can um, grab pixels using XY coordinates. So let's go ahead and see the first 10 pixels in this image. So I'll say for I is zero, I is less than 10. And then um, we can ask for a pixel at a given point. Actually, let's make this instead of I, let's make this X. So we're gonna start in the upper left corner here and work our way across. So we can say um, let pixel equals, and then we can use get, um, and then we put in an X and a Y value. And then let's just console.log the pixel. And so now you can see that it prints out um, each of these pixels, the first 10 pixels in our image. Um, and there, each one is a little array, um, a little list. And this is the color value in red, green, blue, and alpha or transparency. You can see here they're all uh, alpha is 255 or totally opaque. Um, and we can see the color value for each of these pixels, which is pretty cool. Um, if I want then to access the individual um, red, green, and blue components from this color, um, I could do it like this. So let's get pixel, the pixel at 100, 100 over here. So again, I can use get 100, 100. And then red will be px, uh, the pixel at index 0. Green will be at 1. Um, blue will be at two. And we could also get alpha if we want. Um, and now you could use those values um, to do some math or make some changes to those values, um, which is pretty cool. Then um, let's look at then how we would change pixels. And so the opposite of get is set, which allows us to change a color of a pixel. Um, so let's say I wanna randomly make um, a bunch of pixels in my image black. So I can use a for loop again. Let's do 3000 pixels so that we can see it. Um, we'll create an X, a random value. Oops, random between zero and height. And then um, I can say set at X and Y, and then we give it a color value. Um, so we can use the color command in P5.js, and then I'm just gonna make that zero. And now you'll notice we don't see any changes on the screen. Um, and that's because this load pixels command has a partner. That partner is update pixels. Um, anytime we make changes to the pixels in an image, we want to call update pixels. So now when I run this, you'll see there's a bunch of black pixels um, randomly scattered throughout our image. Now you might think, oh, where should I put update pixels? Now you could put it here every time we make a single change to our image, but that's gonna be really inefficient. It's a lot of extra work for the computer. 
So it's better to make all of our changes, and then when we're ready to see the result, then we call update pixels like this. Um, so um, there's some downsides to accessing pixels using get and changing them using set. And in the next video, we'll look at another way of accomplishing the same thing um, that's more efficient for your computer.